Baruch Atiyah has reappeared. He can be found on the Orcus Relay, which is, of course, on Pluto on all platforms. So let's just jump in and there he is. See what he has brought this week. There is the Rakta Sandana. I think I prefer the Prisma one, if we're being honest. Speaking of Prismas, Prisma Shade is here. Will come, of course, with his weapon, the pistol. And if you run stealth, he isn't as much of a must as he used to be, but he will help quite a lot. There is Primed Heavy Trauma, 165% impact damage for melee, Primed Sniper Ammo Re... Mm. Mutator. I know I said Regenerator, but it's a Mutator. <laughs> Primed Ammo Stock, 110% Magazine Capacity for Shotgun, Primed Bane of Corrupted, 1.55 times damage to Corrupted obviously, for the rifle. Speaking of, the Prisma Hecate Sandana. Which do you prefer? That one? Or the Rakta? Think I prefer the Prisma one. Just with the moving effect. Let me know in the comments section which one do you prefer. There is the Prisma Sigil. Uh, can't really see the effect because if you colour it in the slightest, it kind of goes away. The Prisma Scanner. This is, of course, the actual melee weapon, and no, we still can't actively move the frames round. It just has the Prisma effect, and it is a slightly buffed scanner. Not sure why I have three of them. There is the Gustag 3 beacon to get the... Is it the Brack? Or the Brock? <sighs> the pistol that they drop... You have to get them to come after you. This will summon them. You can use one per mission, but you can't have many of these. You can only use one per mission. Summon them on Steel Path. I dare you. There is the Katia Tribute Glyph. That's the thing in the top left corner. Massive amounts of weird lag going on. I don't know what that's about. The Katia Earpiece. That's both ears, not the solo, which is, of course, only one. The twin Gracata Toe Sun skin can go on the single one. The Prisma Angstrom, this is probably one of the better Prisma secondaries, and you can see that we had lag going on because the smoke just kind of jumped backwards. But then again, if you watch this long enough, it will do that anyway. But this, well, out of all of the weapons, that's probably the one you want to go for if you don't have any of them. There is the Katia stencil for your personal quarters if you have unlocked it. The Prisma Avia chest plate. One of the better armor sets he actually sells. I mean, just. I don't know why the third fin, feather, wing, whatever, doesn't have the Prisma effect on it, but the Prisma Avia shoulder plates are also here, as are the. Yep, yeah, same kind of deal. The top one doesn't have the effect. Prisma Avia ankle plates. There is the Paracesis Alexa skin. I keep meaning to, but I just don't use this as much as I once did. Primed Rabido lined barrel, 187% damage for arc guns. That is kind of a must, and to be fair, probably the one prime mod to go for this time round because if you use arc guns gravamagd or not that is a must just a huge huge must there is the demos sizes prex card the yeah telemann dance of death landing craft decoration mm-hmm moving on oh a mask it takes the dragon head off the ultra sentinel mask i think i prefer the standard one to be fair yeah this is this is a thing the domestic dias drone this is just a domestic drone goes into your landing craft moves around doesn't really clean anything just kind of looks good moving around can be placed in your dojo if you so see fit. Sands of Anora's blueprint, Fear Path Ephemera, and of course if you come to see him with Anora's Prime equipped right here, the Barrow Void Signal will appear and that allows you to do a defense mission defending Barrow to get a hold of the Elixir's arm asset. I really wish it would drop all the Elixir skins, but apparently not. You can have many of those, you can only get one 
every time he turns up. Once you pick that one up, you can't pick up another one. He is, of course, around for two days. If there is anything here you want, get in before Sunday to pick it up. Otherwise, there's no need to panic. Every single thing here does cycle back through, so he will bring it back eventually. And I'm now looking at this and realizing I, if I just screenshot this image, I can do this without having to swap the frame to get it to appear. I can just stick the image over the screen. Not that I would do that because then I wouldn't be able to scroll through the list. But with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.